Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erica. I love house plants and that's what I do on this channel. I share my house plant journey. Today I would like to share with you an update on 10 of my house plants. So I just went around my collection and picked out 10 random plants that I felt like sharing with you. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you how they are looking right now. The update on how they grew and I'm also gonna try to give you information on when I got them so you will know how long I have them. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I went through my collection and I chose 10 plants that I would like to share an update with you. So these are just some random plants and if you will like this video and have any idea of some other plants that you would like to see from my collection, leave a comment down below and maybe I will make a second part of this video because I feel like this is gonna be quite fun. So I'm gonna start with the plants that I think I bought the earliest and I'm gonna also try to insert a picture here and a date like more or less a month when I bought them so you know for how long I have it in my care. Okay so I have my list right in front of me and I'm gonna start with this beauty. So when I got it it was my absolute pride and joy and I bought it as a Syngonium Red Spot Mini and I still have no idea if that's what it is. I think it is because the leaves are not really growing any bigger. I mean they are maturing but they are not growing much bigger and a while ago I chopped it off. Yeah right here you should be able to see the cut it right there. And recently, like in the last month, the bottom leaves that it, the plant produced last year are like really turning yellow and these are the leaves that are on this bottom part of the before the cut and everything new, oh, actually this one's also turning green, oh yeah this was still before the cut and everything new <laughs> is really pink and nice and right here I have a little propagation jar and these aren't as yellow but they are also losing their color as you can see but that's okay I think it's time for me to repot this to prune it up and I don't know maybe I should just chop it off like where there is this new growth and repot it or something I'm not sure yet but for sure I will want to pot this up and make this a bashir plant because I really really loved it last summer when it was getting all bushy and growing and it grew really fast so yeah I'm excited for this new year and here's a baby of it like it's right there it's so cute it's not growing much but oh actually I see it's producing new leaves so that's really cute okay and yeah I think that this is plant number one again I'm really in love look at this leaf this one, yeah, this bottom one, this variegated, it's so pretty. I love it, I love it so much. Okay, so that was plant number one. Now, for the plant number two, I'm going to show you my philodendron pink princess and I really really love it. It's really cute. I actually thought I'm going to chop it up and propagate it but I'm not sure. I don't know. It's just like it's growing, doing its thing. It doesn't have tons of variegation. That's okay. I now have that tiny baby one that has ton of irrigation if you watched some of my previous videos. Actually, just one video. And this one, for example, has irrigation on the back, but not on front. That's very weird. Like, it has a different irrigation in the back than it does in front. But... Yeah, it's really cute, wide, big. I'm not sure yet if I will propagate it or not. The leaves on this thing get stuck like constantly. It's producing new leaves also quite often, but damn, just the amount of times it gets stuck and they do that like snaily thingy, so I just have to like take it out and this one ended up being damaged, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm debating if I'm going to propagate it or not, but it's just standing in my window. It's getting 
getting the natural sunlight and I'm not supplementing any light for it so pretty easy I water it once a week and it's just doing its thing yeah I'm really hoping that the new one I'm gonna show you because it's just so cute this is the new one that I got <laughs> I really hope that this one's gonna size up just as this sized up and have and like keep its beautiful variegation. So fingers crossed. And in my first video when I just bought this, this baby came with a smaller baby and I separated them and this is the baby. This is her. She is super cute. So, oh what's that? She's dirty. So yeah, this is her, she's pretty, she has like quite short gaps between the notes, so she's like pretty bushy I'd say. She also doesn't have like tons of irrigation, but she has some, which is still super cute and it's working on the new leaf right here, which is always exciting. I cannot wait to see how variegated this one is, if it has any variegation, and maybe I will also need to give this plant more nutrition because I wasn't giving it much during the winter, and now that the winter is getting warmer, I'm gonna start feeding it. So yeah, this is my original Pink Princess, and it was one of my, I wanna say like one of my first plants that I started in this channel. So this is really cute, and I'm excited, and this is how it looks like right now, and this was plant number two. Moving on. Plant number three is quite a sad update. Well, it's not sad, it's more funny and wonky and for sure I am going to propagate this plant soon, so um, a propagation video is coming, but this is my melanocrysum, you guys. Oh my god, look at it. It's so crazy. So the leaves look terrible. Look at it. Oh, it's so wonky. It's so crazy. Look, this one ripped and it was one of the nicest leaves. I had one that was actually full and it looked like this, but it was full and not damaged and that was the only leaf that I had that was not damaged and I think it was right here, but it came off when I was like propping this stick up <laughs> and it's missing another leaf right here. Yeah, so... This is definitely gonna be a propagation project. When I got it, it was maybe this, like, it had just a few leaves and now, jeebus, look at it. Oh, it's so long. It doesn't really fit properly. But yeah, this is, it's crazy. And it does not look the greatest, although this leaf is cute. Look at it. Oh, but it's also quite a small leaf. Just this. Oh! Shoot, I don't want to break it. Um, it's standing on my shelf and it is like growing out of the shelf and I hooked it up with one of the magnetic hooks there and yeah, I think these plants definitely need moss poles. That's what everyone keeps telling me and I will definitely try to do something like that for it and I don't know, I think I will really need to start taking care of this plant <laughs> properly if I want to ever size it up because right now this is crazy. I mean, look at the length between the nodes. This is longer than my finger. It's it's bad. <laughs> it's not doing great, but I still love it. Like, it's one of those plants only mom could love, and I do. I love it. It's just so wonky, crazy, lanky, and oh, I cannot wait to propagate this and have some baby melanocrysums growing. And I know that these plants are really hard to grow pretty and the leaves just keep getting stuck like look right now you can already see so right here you can already see it has that bump i always need to help it a little bit in the beginning to unfurl and curl because otherwise it just gets stuck on its own <laughs> node and it has that bump and it's crazy and yeah i think that's the humidity issue so these plants definitely need humidity in the air and it's really really dry here. It's like really freaking dry. So most of my plants that need humidity don't look that great and this is definitely one of them. Okay, so this is for plant number three. I really wanted to show this to you guys because yeah, it's not the prettiest. It's crazy. I mean, it's not pretty at all. It's crazy. It's wonky. It's lanky and bleh. So yeah, this is plant number three and now moving for the plant number four. 
Okay, so those three plans are definitely from the first videos of my channel and now I'm gonna just like take plans randomly and show you the updates because I really don't remember when I got them, but lucky for you, you're just gonna see it on the screen. So moving on to my Jewel Orchid and I'm talking about this one. So I think it is time for it to move out of this dome because let me show you. It grew so much that this leaf is now permanently curled because it's just always, you know, like touching this the, the, the dome thingy and like not having enough space to grow. And these are the babies at the bottom. It's so cute. It's so exciting. And definitely, I, th in my opinion, jewel orchids are quite fast growers. Actually, this, oh, this is so good. Let me show you like this because right now there is sun and I just want to try to show you the sheen because right now there is sun right here and look at it it's so pretty those veins they are bright orange like salmon color it is so pretty and this is why jewel orchids are called jewel orchids. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom you out back right now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I hope that I'm gonna be able to stay in this pot for a bit longer here because the sun is like sinking down right now and it's gonna start shining directly on me. But yeah, so this is plant number, what, number four? And I absolutely love it. Okay. Moving on to plant number five. All right, now for the plant number five. And it is this ginormous, well, it's not ginormous actually, but it is definitely growing and it is my philodendron burl marks. It's really, really cute. It's pretty, it's growing and it's sizing up fast. So when I got it, it only had like this leaf right here. And I got it when it was cut off. I got it from one of the sustainability boxes. And this all growth it gave me in the past few months. And as you can see, the um, spaces between the nodes are also quite long. But this is winter growth, actually. And it maybe wasn't getting enough sun because right now when there's a little bit better um, weather... Oh, this is really sticky. Uh, it's also, yeah, sticking like so much. It constantly has these sticky spots. It's crazy. Oh, shoot, my melanocrysum. It's good. It's okay. Yeah, anyways, this is my burl marks. And yeah, like I said, this is kind of a winter growth. And maybe I will also chop this up eventually and make it like a few vines and a little bit bushier. I think maybe I'm gonna make a propagation video, definitely, because I have so many plants that I want to propagate. And this is one of them. But it's really pretty. I really like the length of these leaves and the tiny ears that it has. Like, that's super cute. I love when plants have ears like that, like when the leaves have ears. And actually, this is the first leaf it gave me that was like big and it had this really cute shape. So it has a shape like here, a little bit like my syngonium and then the ears. And I was hoping it's gonna continue that on the other leaves, but it doesn't. It's just like quite straight but that's okay too it's still really really nice really cute and again i'm watering all of my plants kind of the same like i'm watering them once a week of course now that the summer is coming i'm probably gonna have to water them much more often but yeah i don't feel like i'm giving any extra care for this plant and it's just growing and doing its thing and i'm really happy about it i'm excited and i love it it's really nice for a plant that came from a sustainability box, I feel like I am doing a great job at reviving it and giving it a new chance. So yeah, this is my Philodendron Pearl Marks. It's big, it's cute, I love it, and it is my plant number five. Okay, so the sun is getting a little bit crazy and I hope the camera is not gonna act crazy too. So I'm gonna try to do this a little bit faster, but moving on. So now for the plant number... number six. 
I want to talk about this pretty, pretty Anthurium Black Beauty and I love it so freaking much. So, it is still growing in water, it has lots of roots, lots of roots. You can see there that it tried to produce few babies and they kind of... I don't know, probably not doing that great because they are absolutely submerged in water, so I really need to repot this. But it produced a flower for me! Just look at it! Look at that pretty freaking flower! It's absolutely black! That's why it's called Black Beauty, and when the new leaves come in, they are this really dark, chocolatey color. And they look almost black as well, and then they mature, and then they turn this very dark, deep, dark forest green. And I absolutely love this plant for it, so I really need to repot it, and like, not repot it, just pot it up, because there is also a smaller one right here, and it is also producing like a small leaf. So yeah, so far care for this plant was super easy, it's just growing inside this small planter. I don't think I've changed the water here ever, so I just keep pouring new water on top of it. And as you can see, the water is quite yellow, but I also from time to time put a little bit of nutrition water in here, so it's a little bit yellow from that. Other than that, I don't know, it's producing a lot of new leaves. It seems to really love to grow in water, but I do want to pot it up into a planter because, I don't know, I just kind of want to do that. Just like introduce it to soil and once again, look at this flower. It's so waxy, it's so dark, you can even see... Oh, let me do it from up close. Yeah, it's still quite small, of course, I mean, I don't know for how long it can stay in this water. I really do want to take it out, at least for like when the summer is coming now. I think it's gonna be really grateful for it. Okay, yeah, and this is my plant number six. Now, I want to show you a little bit extra because these were like nearby. So when I was taking this Black Beauty, <laughs> I noticed that these and I was like, at first, I was like, what the hell is that? Like, why is there a leaf inside of here? But... Do you guys remember my Alocasia cuprii? And when I was repotting it, it had like these tiny corms and I put them in this jar and I actually just forgot about them. But look, there is a full on leaf and all of them sprouted. So these are just corms that once again, they were just in water growing and they sprouted. I really need to pot this up too. But I mean, how crazy is that? Let's just show you that plants really don't care. They just want to grow and live. They just need water and light. And that's what these corms were having, water and light. And yeah, I will definitely need to repot this and give it a shot because my original Cupria is really not doing well. I don't know if it's still alive to be honest with you, but yeah, this is a small update on these corms. It's crazy. I think that it is really cute. And yeah, my face is in full sun right now, so I really want to show you the Laodicea discolor now. And that is plant number seven. So let's do that real quick while I'm catching all of the sun. Okay, <laughs> so are you ready? Ta-da! Look at how big it is! It's absolutely crazy! So you can see this plant in my background on the videos when I make um, some videos in my original spot because this is my secondary filming spot which oh, I love it so much. I mean, I feel like in jungle here. Okay, it doesn't matter. That's off topic. But look at this beautiful Laodicea discolor. So this is also a jewel orchid and just look at how ginormous it is. You guys, when I got it, it was like half the size and I didn't get it that long ago. I mean, look at the size of these leaves. Look at this one. 
they're huge they're huge and these are like the new branches that's producing i love it so much it's so lush it's so pretty and it's such an easy care like occasionally i do find small babies that came out that are they're falling over maybe they look rotten off but that's just one baby from really time to time and i don't know i'm just again watering this every week with all of my other plants and i'm not doing much else for it and it is just living its best life let me tell you let me zoom in and show you the sparkliness of this as well or maybe i can just put it up close yeah you can see how velvety and sheeny these leaves are oh yeah look at that look at that sparkle it is so pretty i just i don't know i cannot recommend this plant enough if you want to get a jewel orchid and you feel like they are too expensive because they are expensive i would totally recommend trying to find a ludicia discolored jewel orchid because these are much cheaper than the uh, than these and you can see the difference between the leaves so this is much fancier and Ludicia this color doesn't have that much of an intricate veining or ornamenty veining kind of a thing but they're no less majestic and fancy feeling it's like oh i can't and it grows so fast at least for me that's my personal experience i got it i think in autumn so this plant hasn't seen summer in my care yet and it's crazy i really want to repot it i feel like i will try to repot it into the planter where my berry garden was because as i mentioned before my fairy garden is no longer it passed away and i moved on from it so i still have the planter and i feel like maybe this crawler would really really like it in there because i feel like this plant likes crawling it wants to crawl and i'm really happy with it it seems like it's really happy with me and this is it in its all glory in its all majesticness and in the sun all sparkly or beaut all beautiful and and this was plant number seven so now moving on to plant number eight i think actually maybe i will wait until the sun is a little bit lower and not shining straight into my face i'm back it's about half an hour later and the sun is much better now so let me show you plant number eight and this one you've seen quite recently and it is my Monstera Sandliana. I really, really like the way it looks on this moss pole. And the reason I wanted to show you is because it already has new growth coming out. And I am super excited. So this is the one of the new leaves. It's almost all white and just has like a little speckle in the middle, which is super cute. So these were the two smaller branches that I put one next to the other. And the two vines in the middle that I cut. Let me show you so this is the growth from one of them and yeah this is where i cut it off i don't know if you can see there is like a cut and this is what the new growth that's coming out of it and i'm really excited because that was quite fast i repotted this like a month ago maybe and it already is sprouting some new growth for me and the second branch has growth right here and right there I took it out of uh, from inside of the strip, but here it is, a second growth. So it has two active growth points where it's coming from, and this is just so exciting. It's really, really cool, and I thought it's just gonna be like one branch, but it seems like it activated two growth points, and yeah, like I said, I cannot wait. This is really exciting, and there's not much on this update, but yeah, here it is. Okay, and here are the propagations that I took, and this is new leaf. It's so small, and it's already working on a second one. I don't know if you can see, but it's there, and it also has some roots for me already. 
So that's also really exciting. I am having this under the growth light and it's just there. Yeah, also topping up the water for it when it runs out of water and I'm not doing much more than that. This is the growth update on the propagations. And one more time, this is the main big plant. It's really nice. Okay, now let's move to plant number nine. Okay, so for the plant number nine, it's actually standing right here and let me take it out. It's my ginormous Monstera Deliciosa and this is not the variegated version, but I just really wanted to show you and oh my glob, I just took it off out like the, for the first time and <laughs> let me show you what I just felt. Oh my god, that was so fast! I really was hoping that this planter is gonna be for a while for this plant, but it seems like I will need to repot it maybe even this year still. Mm. But anyways, yeah, this is so exciting! This is the new leaf that it gave me! This is so exciting! So, as soon as I repotted it, a few days later it started sprouting and producing this baby and oh my glob i cannot be more excited it's perfect look at it look at the size of it it's already so huge and oh i'm oh, i cannot wait for a second leaf i bet it's gonna be even bigger and it is standing in kind of a full sun so this is like the sunniest window i have and in the summer it's like really shining directly into the plants in the middle of the day so it's like the hottest sun and and this is where it's standing and I think it likes it, I think it appreciates that because that's where my previous Monstera was standing and it really liked it, so yeah. I was so excited, you guys, look at this leaf. And this was the leaf before it, so this was actually so much bigger, but that's totally fine. Like this plant went through so much shock. And there is the smaller in the middle. And it is also producing new leaves. It's doing great. This is one of the newest leaves it's produced. I'm so, so, so freaking happy that I've got that leaf. Okay, and plant number 10 is actually standing right here behind me and it is my beautiful Monstera Alpo. So let me take it out and show it to you from closer up. Okay, you guys, so I cannot take it out closer because it is so huge, but let me show you. Okay, so I lifted myself a little bit higher <laughs> and this is my freaking Monstera Albo. I'm so in love with it. And these are the newest leaves it gave me in the winter and they are much smaller than the ones I had before but again this is winter growth and I'm not too worried about it but Jesus look at how beautiful it is oh it's stunning so yeah ah you guys I'm so in love I mean just look at it Yeah, okay, so before this plant was standing behind me in, again, in my previous spot and right now I moved it here because it's huge and I feel like standing right behind me where it is standing now, it's like the best location for it. It constantly is getting in direct sun and there is this film on the window. One second. So like you can see this and I feel like it filters out the direct sun quite well, so I am quite happy about that and this plant seems to really like it and wait, actually, let me try to turn it so you can also see how it's growing from the back and yeah, you can see that it is kind of grabbing on the pole with its roots so there is like a few that are growing in the pole itself, but yeah, basically it, I'm not doing anything special with this plant as well, just like a regular Monstera, it's super easy to take care of, it's just doing its thing, growing and producing leaves like crazy. <laughs> I am freaking in love, like this was definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made. I'm absolutely in love and again, it was just 80 euros when I got it and it already gave me four new leaves, I believe. Yeah, 
four new leaves in my care. I'm absolutely in love. Again, I just cannot stress this enough. There is not much I can say about this plant because it's super easy to take care of it. I'm absolutely in love with this plant. And yeah, this is the plant number 10 that I wanted to show you and of course it's the most majestic. Okay, let me put this baby back and say goodbye to you guys. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, like always. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I for sure did. It really, like taking my plants out from their regular spots and just like looking at them in a different kind of a light really opened up my eyes and made me see how much these plants actually grew from when I first got them and that's really exciting and yeah, like I said, if there is any kind of other plants that I did not mention today and you know that I have and you would like to see the update on them, let me know in the comments below and I will make a second part of this because for sure I will be making a second part so yeah let me know and I can include these plants and this was really exciting if you like this video consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up that really means a lot to me I really appreciate it and it really helps me grow my channel and speaking about growing things I really realized how much these plants like being in my care and they're growing so much and so fast it really makes me wish I had more plants. See you next time! I love you guys so much!